What's going on guys, it's Jose with Jay's Mobile Auto Glass. Uh, today's videos are going to be a little bit different. I know I've been um, my content is on and off at times, but uh, today's video is actually kind of uh, in, uh, speaking about an important ma uh, manner going on at the moment. Uh, for those who don't know, or for those who are wondering, actually, let's start with this. We are on the Safe Flight Auto Glass press release page. Uh, the reason why I'm on this page is because for those who haven't heard, Safe Flight has recently dropped from using uh, Sika urethane. So they're actually gonna be switching to Dow products, which to us auto glass uh, shops, this is a really big deal. Understand that, right? Especially right now with uh, how times are, supply is uh, really scarce and at times can be hard to uh, get to. And the fact that Safelight is dropping Sika and they're switching to Dow means they're gonna be buying it by the bulk. And that means it's gonna be harder for us to get our hands on, or even that the price of the urethane will go up. So meaning our prices will have to go up as well. We'll still, a lot of us will still be more affordable than Safelight in the long run. But the fact that our expenses are going up well, for no particular reason, just because Safelight decided to drop Sika as their uh, main urethane provider. Um, it's not really fair. Um, I know I actually really do like Dow. I use Dow. We use the Express 30 BP and what I'm going to show you guys will kind of show you how this is already we're already seeing the effect of this. Uh, first things first, we're going to if we look through the Safe Flight website, uh, we don't really see anything that is speaking about this. They're pretty um, um, maybe they're keeping it on the low. They don't really want to talk a lot about the Sika switch. Uh, which I could see why uh, for those who don't know what happened with Sika I, I believe a few months ago I have, I'm really good friends with some of the managers and employees and some of the safe flight sh shops uh, So one of the fact apparently some of the factories uh, their the uh, employees went on strike at the factories and it caused a uh, a little bit of a a little bit of a what do you call it us uh, uh, like a shortage on on the urethane on them back when uh, for those who don't know I'll be I'll go ahead and let you all know I did used to work for safe flight and back when I was at Safe Flight, I felt like they would just honestly just use urethane like as if it was nothing. It was like, it was like it was not a scarce item. It was like the most the way they treated the urethane. It was, it was like as if something they didn't really um, were ever going to run out of. But the fact that this um, my uh, my friends were letting me know that they were on a um, they had to be very they had to be very cautious of what urethane uh, how much urethane the techs were taking and just keep count of everything because of uh, the amount. Of shortage they're going to run into because of the the strike at, i'm guessing at the factory for those who don't for those who know more about this i'd love to read it in the comments if you know more about this but going back to the matter of topic we are running low on dow products guys and some of these warehouses i will show you and the reason why you're seeing on my um you're seeing thumbs up join discord subscribers because i'm blocking my account information just just to be safe on the safe side but anyways let's go ahead and start with uh if we go on migrant you guys, I use Dow. I'm I'm in the uh, what is it, the south uh, southeast uh, region, uh, Atlanta. So if you guys can see, Norcross only has the uh, cartridges. I don't use cartridges. I use the sausage packs, guys. Uh, you get more urethane, and this even though this is the easy kit for the uh, cartridges, I don't use this. Uh, we have some Dow. Those are the nine. This is the um, I believe this is just the ones without the uh, uh, ten tubes. Uh, no, this is the cartridge as well, but without the uh, easy. This is all cartridges. Here is actually the um, sausage pack at Nashville. I did try to order these a while back, but this order got kicked out. I think this is not correct. Um, so this might, this is, this shouldn't be right. I actually tried to order this, and I even let the warehouse manager know that I had not received it, and they got canceled. So this is not right. So again, we have a lot of the cartridges. It seems to be the less popular item. Uh, if we check out the, the newest migrant warehouse, I don't know how to pronounce this city in Louisiana, but uh, this is the, what this is what we're actually using. Hopefully, they actually do have a, a creative in the stock, which uh, I made a video on Friday. This exact video, but I, I had to re-edit it just because I had to remake it due to some issues with the video. But if we look, the boxes go for 148. They were before at 134 almost a year ago. So they're at one. They've gone up almost to about 15 dollars, and they might even go up more now that Safe Flight is switching to Dow, which is honestly very annoying. Now let's go to my second, our second supplier. Typically, if you're if you're a glass shop, you're going to be using Migrant. Uh, Pilkington and PGW you might have a, a maybe a fourth vendor and if you do I'd love to know what other vendors you guys use uh, And who is your favorite vendor also make sure you guys let me know who is your favorite vendor of all these um, If we check my uh, if we check my Pilkington they are completely out of everything guys check it out They have absolutely nothing in stock which can be kind of scary because you I used to order a lot of my my uh, stock 
and my supplies from Pilkington. Honestly, my favorite warehouse is Pilkington. They treat me very well. I have a really good bond with them. If I have an issue, they typically will try their best to take care of me as quickly and as, effic as efficiently as possible. Um, that being said, they have nothing in stock. I'm not sure if it's because of the safe flight situation. Uh, really not sure. Uh, over here, we're going to jump over to PGW. You can already see the Express 30 600 milligram sausage. They have zero on it. If we check other locations as well, they have nine. Oh, finally, they have nine of where, where is it at now from Atlanta. So we're, we're starting to get a little bit more compared to how it was um, a few days ago. So they're finally getting some trucks in. But this still understand that um, when it comes to only nine boxes and there is about in the Atlanta region, when it comes to auto glass, it's a very competitive region. Um, thank God I'm in a region. I'm in a I'm in a city that where there's only two other auto glass shops. So my competition, my co competition is not that big, but nine box will run out in about maybe half a day, man. Um, this is something that a lot of, this won't this this will run out very fast. I'm actually gonna jump on this probably later if if it's still there. I'm probably gonna go ahead and order all nine boxes just because um not to not to try and hoard it, but the way things are, it's better just to jump on it now. But again, guys, um, we're starting to see a little bit Harlan. I feel like this this warehouse in Louisiana is since it's new. I feel like it it gets a lot of the stuff uh, quicker than all the other warehouses. But this is just to show you the impact um, some of the where some of the suppliers are already having with uh, Safe Flight switching over to Dow products instead of Sika, which is very frustrating for us small businesses. It will hurt us. Again, this video is just to to uh, give you guys a heads up in case you do use Dow products or if you're using a different type of polyurethane for your windshields um, then you are fine if you never were using Sika or Dow I, I know there's other brands out there as well which would be good for those who uh, want to try something new and even some of the suppliers to jump on this opportunity to sell their product to, to us businesses and show us that their um, urethane competes with Dow and Sika um, I preferably really do love this easy kit Express 30. It's 30 minute cure time, guys. I mean, drive safety time compared to the other, the EX stuff that it takes about one hour. We had to switch to the one hour formula due to the fact that um, they ran out of the 30 minute, which is fine. Well, 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 one hour is not that bad compared to the 30 minute. But again, it's uh, kind of annoying when your you're, you're te uh, technicians and employees are used to a product already. Again, guys, this is just for those who, um, this is just a video to let you know what's going on right now with some of the supplies. And in case you start running low and you're questioning what's going on, this is why we're running low on urethane when it comes to Dow products and primers, okay? So if you're look, if you're wondering and you're asking your supplier and your supplier's not giving you a straight answer, this is probably one of the biggest reasons why. Understand that Safe Flight is probably the biggest, uh, our biggest competitor out there for any small business. And um, the fact that they're just buying bulks of Dow product right now me means it's going to be a lot harder to get your hands on it. And also the prices are probably going to go up on, on uh, a box of urethane as well, which is already high, but um, it is what it is. Again, guys, make sure you guys do actually join the Discord. We did make a community Discord uh, for glass shops. Right now, there's only two shops in there, mine and Trejo's Glass. Uh, I'd love to have more uh, other auto glass shops in there, just uh, talking about what everyday, everyday installs and whether or not you're running into supply issues as well. Um, again, I hope this video did help some of you. Make sure you guys do subscribe and leave a thumbs up. And until next time, I hope to catch you guys on later. And hope, hopefully this video did help you guys out with some questions with, when it comes to the urethane. I'll catch you guys on later. Thank you.